Today I want to show you how you can add a wind effect to your foliage. So first of all, create a normal material, like this one here. Then add a sign node. And a panel node, so type in pan and add a panel node. Now connect the panel with the sign and the sign with the word position offset. Now at the panel we can choose the variety of the wind and how strong it should blow. So for example, when we type in at the first value, for example, 0.4 or 0.5. And at the second one, point 0.9. Then you can already see our texture moving around. So click on to apply. And now we can try it out. And you can see, we already get a pretty realistic wind effect. But there's also a second way how we can do that. So just go into the material editor again. Delete those here. And then up here type in wind. Then add the simple grass wind node. Connect the result with the word position offset. And now we have to add two constant vectors. So type in con and add two. Connect the first one with the wind intensity, the second one with the wind weight, and the additional VPO you have to connect with your texture. So in my case, up here. Okay, now at the first value at wind intensity, you can choose how strong the wind should be. So for example, when we type in 0.6. Then it looks like, yeah, let's three. Then nothing happens because we don't have a weight. So at the weight, you also have to type in a value, for example, 0.5. And then it should move, as you can see here. It's a little bit too strong, so let's put it to 0.7. Then it gets better. So you just have to play around with these settings. Okay, now let's try it out. As you can see, with that type, we also get a pretty good wind effect. Of course, you have to adjust some properties and so on, but that's just the basics how we do that. I hope you guys liked it, and until next time.